Hi and welcome, I'm Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to take a look at how we can migrate our Lightroom Classic catalog and all of our photographs to a new computer. So I'm going to start by just showing you this slide. If you don't want to listen to the entire video and you just want the steps, this is what we're going to walk through. So first we're going to check our current catalog just for missing files and folders and create a backup. Then we're going to go ahead and migrate our photographs and depending on where they are, we'll take a look at some different scenarios. We're going to copy the Lightroom catalog and its supporting files as well as any backups of the catalog. And then we're going to copy the Lightroom preferences. Well, I'm going to show you where they are and you can choose whether or not you want to copy them. I'll show you how to access all of your presets, the develop module, as well as all of the other presets, including templates, so that you can copy those over. And then we're going to copy any additional supporting files that you might need, like a watermark or a logo. And then we'll move to the new computer, you'll download the software, the Creative Cloud application, as well as the Lightroom Classic application. And I'll show you how to launch your catalog so it becomes the default catalog, and then also how to relink files and folders and copy any of the presets and your preferences. And then also enable sync and just talk a little bit about any third party software that you might have. So let's go ahead and start by checking our current catalog. So before I even move over to the new computer, I want to check for two things, any missing folders and any missing files. So we can see here that I've got a missing folder called Australia. It's got the question mark next to it. So I'm going to relink that. I'll simply right click and choose to find the missing folder. And then I'll go to the image vault and just look through and sure enough, here is that missing folder. So all I need to do is choose that folder. Now, if I want to move that folder in the future, I would move it within Lightroom as opposed to behind Lightroom's back or using the operating system. And that's as easy as simply clicking and dragging within the folder structure in Lightroom Classic. All right, now to find any missing files, we can use the library module and then choose find all missing photos. It will check your entire catalog here. It has found a missing photo. It's got the warning icon right here. I'm going to click on that and then to make it easier to find, I'm just going to drag over the name, use command C or control C to copy and then choose to locate it and then paste right here so that the operating system can search for it. And here it is, so I'll go ahead and relink that. I'll choose select, and now we can see that that warning is gone. Now if I want to see what folder that's in, I can right click and choose to go to folder in library, and we can see that it is right here in the pears and limes. All right, so we've relinked any folders and individual files. I'll also want to create a backup before I move this catalog. So I'll choose the Lightroom Classic menu and then choose Catalog Settings. On Windows, it would be under the Edit menu. And then under Backup, I'm going to choose When Lightroom Next Exits. I'll go ahead and close that, and then we can exit or quit Lightroom Classic. It'll bring up the backup catalog dialog, and I would go ahead and back this up. Now, for the sake of time, I've already done this, so I'm going to actually skip it this time. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to look at is migrating your photos. Now, unfortunately, I don't know where you keep your photographs. If they're all on an external drive, then your job is pretty easy because all you'll need to do is plug that external drive into your new computer and all of your photos will already be there. But if you're like me with this laptop, I have my images, my photographs stored on an internal drive right here in the photographs folder. You can see I've got one folder called Image Vault that has all my photographs, and then I've got another folder called Demo Files. I also have some logos, but those aren't actually in my catalog. All right, so let me go ahead and relaunch Lightroom Classic for a moment, just so that we can compare these. So we can see here that I've got the Image Vault and my Demo Files, and here in my folder structure I have the Image Vault, and if I close that we can also see the Demo Files. So both of these folders are actually in a folder called Photographs in the operating system. And 
it might be helpful if you actually show that parent folder in Lightroom Classic. Because if you're copying files from one internal drive to another and the path changes, you will need to relink those files. But as we just saw, relinking is very easy. But here's something you can do. So I'm just going to right click in the folders and tell Lightroom to show the parent folder. And then we can see that I have my photographs folder now imported into Lightroom. It didn't import all of the files that were in the subfolders. So for example, those logos didn't come in, but we do see the image fault in the demo files. And this means that if I use the operating system and I copy the photographs folder to my new drive, the path will be correct and I won't need to relink those files. Next, I want to copy the Lightroom catalog as well as its supporting files and any backups. By default, the catalog should be in your pictures folder, but if you've moved the catalog or you don't know where it is, we can return to the catalog settings and then under information, we can click show. And sure enough, there it is in my pictures folder in a Lightroom folder. Here is the LR catalog file right here. And then these are supporting files. Now, because Lightroom Classic is running right now, we see these extra files right here. But if we quit Lightroom Classic, you'll notice those files disappear. And now we just have the helper, previews, smart previews, sync, LRCAT, and LRCAT data. Now, this is what I have at this time of recording. You may or may not have all of these files, or you might have more if Adobe adds additional files here. For example, you might not have the sync.lr data if you've never synchronized any files from Lightroom Classic to the cloud. You'll also notice that I have my backups here. Now, if you're an advanced user, you might be wiggling your finger at me saying, you should not keep your backups on the same drive as your current Lightroom catalog. And that is true, but because I don't have an external drive, I'm only working from this laptop, I wanted to save the backup somewhere, so I did save them to the same drive, right? But we understand that if this drive were to crash or if the hard drive became corrupted, I would lose not only my current catalog, but also all of my backups. But the point here is when you're moving from one computer to another, you wanna make sure that you take this entire folder with the backups and with all of the supporting files and the Lightroom catalog. And I typically just keep around two backups. If you have a lot of backups here, you could go ahead and delete some of those older ones. All right, and when you copy this Lightroom folder, I would suggest that you copy it right back to your pictures folder on your new computer, unless you want to place it somewhere else for another reason. All right, next let's take a look at the preferences. So there is a path on your screen right now. That is where Lightroom Classic stores its preference and the name of the preference file. And it's up to you whether or not you wanna copy this preference file from your old computer to your new computer. I typically don't do this. Um, it doesn't take that long to set up my preferences again. And I like to start with a clean system. So I like to really take over as few things from my old computer on like, like the system or application level and bring that over to the new computer. So up to you. That's the path. You can grab your preferences, just copy them. And then when you get to your new computer, you'll paste them in that same location. All right, next would be your presets. Let's go ahead and launch Lightroom again so that I can show you a shortcut to make sure that you grab all of your presets and all of your templates. I'll select Lightroom Classic, go to our preferences and make sure that I'm under the presets tab. And then I can simply choose to show Lightroom develop presets. That will show me the path here as well as show me the settings folder. You'll wanna copy this because it'll have all of your develop presets in it. And then you'll wanna to go to show all other Lightroom presets. And here we have the path down here, and here's my Lightroom folder, and these are all the presets. Now you don't really have to keep track of the path, just make sure that you copy these two folders. And then when you get to the new computer, you'll do the same thing. You'll launch Lightroom and you'll go to the preferences, you'll show the develop presets and show all of the other Lightroom presets, and then just paste your presets from your old computer into the same location onto the new computer. You might also have some support files. So this is up to you. I don't know how you organize all of your images, but like I showed at the beginning, I have a folder called logos. So I'd wanna just make sure that I'm copying over all of the files that may not be in my catalog, 
but that I want to use. So for example, if you're using watermarking or the identity plate and you're using logos there or maybe in a slideshow, you just want to make sure that you also have those files and bring them across to your new computer. Once you get to your new computer, you'll want to go ahead and launch a browser and just search for download Creative Cloud Desktop application or go to adobe.com and download that. Once you've installed the Creative Cloud Desktop application, then you would log in with your Adobe ID and then you could download the Lightroom Classic application. Then you can copy over all of your photographs to wherever you want to store them on your new computer. You can go to your pictures folder and then copy over the Lightroom folder. You'll have all the backups as well as all the supporting files as well as the Lightroom catalog. And then before you copy over any of your settings and your presets, you'll want to make sure to launch the Lightroom catalog. So the easiest thing to do would just be to double click on that because it needs to make those folders, right? Once it's made those folders, then you can go to the preferences and then choose to show the Lightroom develop presets and all the other presets. And then you could simply copy over the settings from your old computer as well as the Lightroom folder from your old computer that has all of the additional presets and all of the templates in it. If needed, you would want to relink any missing folders as well as any missing files. And depending on where you put any of those supporting files, for example, your logos, you may need to relink those files. So here I may need to go to edit watermarks and then click on graphic and then relink the graphic in order to access that logo. If you want to synchronize this catalog to the cloud, then you'll want to enable sync. And then under collections, you will have the little blank square here where you can then enable syncing of any of your collections. Finally, I just want to talk about any third party editors or any third party software. While you may be tempted to just copy over that software from your other machine, I would suggest that you go to the website for the developer or the third party and just download a fresh copy, especially if you've done something like upgrade the operating system between the two computers. Excellent. And that's how you'd migrate Lightroom Classic to a new computer. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.